I uh, I contemplated on whether or not I really wanted to make a video like this, but I feel like it's important, at least to me, and maybe some of you guys, that you you hear the story. Um, today. A family member of mine committed and it was something that we never expected. Um, I personally didn't realize that he was going through what he was going through. There was a cousin of mine, and he was young. He was only 20 years old. What's crazy is that just two days ago, we celebrated my daughter's sixth birthday. Six years old. And two days later, My cousin did what he did. Another year celebrated while we mourn the loss of another life that just ended. Two very different emotions. And I, you know, I just can't wrap my head around it. He was big into health and fitness. And my brother, a couple of my other cousins, um, my family really, were all into health and fitness. My brother, he's been trying his best to get my cousin to come to some of his classes and I promise oh boy, I'm not going to cry um, even though I'm sure most of you guys would understand but my brother was trying to get him to go to some of his classes and work out with him do things that would keep his mind busy. He somehow got caught up with the wrong crowd over time, and from one struggle to a next to another, it was a constant battle for him. And no matter what he did, no matter who he spoke to, no matter how hard we tried, he could not find peace within within himself. And ultimately, he took his life, took his own life. You never know when something like this is going to happen and how it's going to affect you. He was young and he had so much life ahead of him. But what is left behind now is a family who is mourning. And not only that, but we're thinking of what could we have done to prevent this. And honestly, there's nothing we could have done. He... He chose the only way that he knew, knew to, to fix the problem. And I wish that
I wish we could have done more. I really wish we could have done more. My uncle, his his father, is um is really torn up. It's his only boy. And you know, as fathers, I'm a father myself. I have a son, I have a daughter. But to lose I mean, any child, doesn't matter if it's a son or a daughter, that loss is devastating. And words can really express how you feel. If you know anyone who's struggling with anything, Reach out to them. Check on them. I didn't talk to my cousin as often as I should have. I didn't know he was struggling the way he was struggling. And I also didn't know that he had the circle of friends that he had. You really are who you associate with. And I heard from my uncle, I heard for his siblings, I heard for my entire family. I I don't know what more I could say. Just anybody who's on your side, whoever is listening to this, it's um something that we all need to talk about mental health struggles, any kind of issues that you know someone's dealing with, see if there's any way you can help them. Even if it's just reaching out to them from time to time and checking in on, checking in on them. I feel like that alone can, can go a long way. That's something that I've I haven't done and or not as often as I should have done. Yeah, just take care of yourselves and each other and keep an eye for those who who are in really need of help. Um and try and do what you can, because I know sometimes these things aren't avoidable, but try and do what you can and with, with everything in your power um, to help them. You know, my cousin was a bit of a recluse. He didn't really want to come out or really hang out with anyone, no matter how hard we all tried to get him out and yeah ultimately he did what he did so mental health is serious it's real and it's not going anywhere for anyone so it's just something that we all have to um, to deal with but learn from but I feel like with the early signs and intervention and help you 
maybe they can stick around a little longer with us to know that there's a better way to deal with everything that they're going through. That's all I got. Um, hope this message reaches someone. Um, check on your friends, your family, your loved ones, and be safe out there. Take care.